Shalom. I with the brothers out of GMS Atlanta, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Also giving double honors to the apostles, the elders that rule well. And also Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. Alright, and today we're doing a lesson on basically adrenaline and just endurance. Right? Because uh, you know, we're getting to the we're at the end of the last days, right? So um, even as the apostles say, we're at the final stretch, right? So when you're watching, um, you know, when you're when you're watching a race, so to speak, right? A marathon race, but it's not a sprint. When you're watching a race, um, and you get to that final stretch, right? You you gotta push, man. That's when that adrenaline kicks in. So that's the spirit we need to be in. We need to be. That, that adrenaline needs to kick in, and we need to be able to endure and keep pushing and, and, and you know, make it out of this thing, man. Um, but I think the brother had a precept. Yeah, cool. Uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. It says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but, run receive, but one receiveth the prize. So run obtain. That's right. The scripture says, run that you may obtain. Now, is this a sprint? Huh? No. This, this, this is a marathon. This is a race of endurance. Okay? Go ahead. Up. It says, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. And I just want to say something on that. The brother opened up and he spoke about how, you know, we're in the, the end of the last days. So, says, and every man that's striving for the mastery, meaning, if you see that, okay, we're coming to the end, there's certain things we have to master, there's certain things that we have to be be um, experts in, you know, precepts, you know, teaching, you know, being uh, wise with some of the harness of the devil, certain stuff we got to master, but it says temperate, so the things that we're weak in, we have to uh, uh, temper, meaning we have to tend to those, those things that we're weak, and we have to shape them up. Make sure that we're uh, a, a whole full body, right. because, uh, uh, like matter of fact, you know, we were watching the Olympics, and the more of a pristine condition that we're in as individuals, and then as a body, as a camp, okay, then that's just how much more stronger we'll be to endure. Like the brother talked about adrenaline, because you, you're running that race, and when you're running that race, you know, you're seeing a prize. Start pumping faster, you know. Uh, and, and he's talking about certain glands that certain things in the body that pump that adrenaline because you know we see our hope right. that, that that we were trying to get. So we're we're, we're, we're moving faster and faster, and should be, should be pushing harder and harder. Right. 2016, uh, the year to push. That's right. So yeah. uh, I'm just gonna read this one part again, real quick, and then I'll get uh, to the end. It says, um. And every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. It says uh, also, him that strives for the mastery that is temperate in all things. Temperance is, is another word for balance. So when you run in this race, you got to be balanced in all fields. You know, we're using this as a, a in a relational sense of sports. When you look at somebody that's in the sports world, whether they're a basketball player, football player, boxer, etc., etc. They make sure that they are balanced in everything before they're actually performing. You know, they make sure they're eating in a certain way, yes. sleeping in a certain way, exercising. Everything they do revolves around the craft that they're, which they're working in. So that same thing is uh, required of us being men of the Lord. Everything you do has to revolve around this truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. This is a lifestyle. You know, yes. this is a 24 7 thing. Right. Anything and every little action you do has to be pertaining to the scriptures. That's why it says, He that striveth is temporal in all things. That's right. You got to have a balance. Like, even if you see these top athletes, like, even during the off season, if, uh, if, if they say, Hey, you know, you want to go to this particular spot or whatever, 
together. They, they may go out, but because they're thinking about, you know, they, they craft and what they specialize in, they might not even have a drink. They might not, go they might not you know, they, they may go somewhere, but they may not have a drink just because it's the off season. Like, nah, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna drink no more. I'm just, you know, I'm gonna stay focused. Or they continue they training. Short. They right. cut it short. Right. They keep training during the off season or, or whatever. Which, in this truth, there's no off season. But the point that we're making is that, you know, you, you, your, your adrenaline, your, your adrenaline got to be flowing. Man. It got to be in it. Your fire got to be, be, be uh, raging. Yeah. Okay. And another uh, just footnote too, just like the brother said, your fire that goes back to the word focus. John. Uh, the, the word focus goes back to, if I'm not mistaken, fuego. Excuse me. Which means fire, your fire, your passion. If you're focused towards something, your energy is geared towards that. And, and our gear, our, our energy and our focus is geared towards the how about you now, John? So that should be what your fire and your zeal is, is, is pushed in. Right. Which you should have an adrenaline in. Because like, like we talk about all the time, and the apostle elders are coined it, this is the year to push. So your adrenaline should be pushing towards the end, man. Yeah, you know, so. not bullshitting and uh, fucking around in the world. This this place is finna perish soon, man. You gotta keep, keep your spirit and this knowledge because this is the end, man. You gotta run this race so that you can make it and receive your crown. That's right. A lot of a lot of a lot of Jake, man. They get they get uh they feeling certain. Then every everything else go out the goddamn window. Now each side ain't the devil no more. The word don't gotta go out no more. The black woman ain't a demon no more. Uh, uh, what's the, what's the, what's some other stuff? Oh, uh, there, you know, uh, putting, everybody putting, can make it. Right, you know. Yeah. Oh, faggots. Yeah, faggots. faggots are, yeah. All, all now now because they get their feelings hurt. Mm-hmm. Now yeah. now every now everything go out the window. They just quit because their right. feelings hurt. Or, Bitch or, man. Or they say they they come against the apostles. Right. You know. Yeah, you know, just because they get their feelings hurt, which is right. being bitch made, man. Right. I got a scripture. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 9. I mean, so like the chapter 9, verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. See, the scriptures say, do it with thy, with thy might. Meaning what? Give it your all, man. Okay, put, put your all in. And, and it, it's just true. It's not something that we're doing, something that we're engaging with. Like the brother was saying earlier when we was having a conversation, this truth is just not a Saturday thing. Or, you know, a Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday thing. This truth is every day. Every day, you should be doing something pertaining to this truth, whether it's studying, uh, uh, reading, watching videos, putting up videos, uh, linking up with the Akim, rehearsing the righteous acts, doing on locations, okay? Meditating, just something, okay? Don't, right. don't, yeah, don't get lost. Don't get lost in the world, man. Because right. it's easy. You know, this truth. It, it, yeah, how about you know, Shah got got something set up where you know it, it, it can take our attention out of the world, right? Because uh, you know, um, as the brother mentioned, focus. All right, you know, we were just watching a race where uh, um, Gatlin, uh, one of the USA runners, right? Um, y'all remember what happened? He 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 started looking over at his competition, and then what happened was he didn't qualify. Right, and why was that? Because he wasn't focused. Now that that relates to this truth, because if you look over, if you if if you start looking over, right, because especially in the Olympics, man, like every thousandth of a second counts. So that that one moment that you look over, or that one moment that you're not focused, man, you you're gonna lose out, man. You're gonna lose out on the kingdom, man. That's right. You're gonna lose the race. That's right. Just like the brother said too. Another thing too in this race, man, is no room for mistakes, man. You slip up, you trip up in a race, hey man, you losing seconds, and them seconds can be detrimental in this run race that we running. Now, another thing too, I just want to bring out as a footnote, that don't mean you can, you don't get up and you continue running. But hey, you gotta you gotta continue fighting this truth, man. It's certain brothers that run faster. Oh, well, it tells you that Barack, uh, in Sirach, excuse me. One man labels are taking much pain, and uh, the, the more behind it, I, I get it, I can find it. But sometimes it's certain brothers that run faster than you. But that doesn't mean that you don't continue running. You may right. not be as speedy right. as speedy as a brother as the next man. Like the apostles, mm-hmm. hey, they in full gear. They going 200, 250 miles per hour, so mm-hmm. to speak. 220, 
twenty, you know, they they basically, you know, Ferraris and souped up cars. You may not be that, but does that mean okay? Let me pull over because I ain't riding as fast. No, you man. may be a, a, a Fiat. Yep. Yeah. But guess what? You push you push that thing to the end so that you can make that goal. Because every man has his talent, whether it's a, uh, you know, uh, whether you have five talents, ten talents, or two talents, you push that talent. You know, we're not all on the same level, but you continue to push, and you got to have that adrenal, adrenaline fresh, and you got to have that, like we said, focus to continue and fight these things. Oh, there's more to it. It says, um, whatsoever thy hand find to do, do it with thy might, for there is no work nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to the men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Right. Like the brother said, this is just a minor sprint, man. This is a marathon. So when it says Racing not given to the swift. When you try to run too fast, what happens? You burn out. You burn out or you trip up. You trip up. You know? You take yourself more than your body can endure. Yeah. And eventually, you know, that could damage your body in the long run. Right, yeah, because right. it's you know this, this truth is it, it, it's not a competition. When we speak about a race, I mean, who are you racing against? Yourself, right, oh, right, right. You you racing against yourself. You're not. I'm not racing against this brother. So what does that mean? When you start burn, when you start getting tired, what happens? You slow down, and eventually, what you quit. All right, and if you if, but if you if you keep a steady pace, all right, and you keep your adrenaline flowing, okay. Once you see that finish line. The goal is just to cross the finish line, man. Right. Okay, there's no first place, second place, third place prize in this truth. Okay? This this thing is a, is a race of endurance. Right. All right? Who, who can finish? Who can finish? As a matter of fact, I know y'all brothers got some precepts on that, but real quick, I'm going to just get one precept, and then I'm going you know, to let y'all brothers get that. Uh, you know, just to show that this 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 is a, a this is not a race of, of, of being fast, man. Okay? Um... Real quick, so like it. Uh, this is Second Timothy. I'm gonna go to uh, chapter four, and I'm gonna start at uh, verse seven. The scripture say, "I fought. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course." See, which is letting you know what this is an obstacle course. This is a course that we run. It's a race, okay? And the race. The scripture just clearly said that the race is not given to the swift. So why, as you run it, a brother may he make him move at a quick at a little quicker pace, but he's not he's not exerting all of his, all of his energy. Okay, he's he's running at his pace. 
got to understand your pace, man. You can't look at the next brother and be like, oh, man, he going into the deep breakdowns of Revelations and Genesis and Daniels, and I ain't doing it, so I'm going to try to keep up with him. You're going to burn the fuck out. Oh, another thing, too, uh, you might see a man that posts 15 videos, three or four 15 videos a week, and he may try to balance that and do that yourself, but it's just not expedient for you. Now, of course, we try to push this word out through every avenue and the behavior of the form, but every man's spirit just is not on the same level. Every man has his own talent. You know, certain brothers work together when they live. live is the most ideals with certain men to the point he gives them that spirit to push out that energy like that. Right. Certain brothers have less talent. But the talent is still there. We're not neglecting the fact that you don't do less. You know, scripture talk about how certain men make an excuse. There's no excuse in the truth. We had to end this thing, man. The apostles put out the uh, order two videos a week. If you ain't doing them two videos a week because work or because of all this other bullshit excuses, then it's truth ain't for you, period, man. Because we at the end, man. Every man is trying to fight for his crown. This crown is not going to be given to us. Like we just talking about the the, the run of the race. Hey, when you look at the Olympics, hey, this is the Olympic season. With the Olympics, you get what? A gold medal or a trophy at the end if you are a champion craft that you're in. Same thing with this truth. It's not just give it to you, okay, you get a uh, I forget the term the term they call it, but okay, you did good, so we just give you a, a nice badge. It don't work like that, man. The most high you have about you, I don't work like that. You gotta right. earn this thing, man. Right. You gotta earn it through your works. Right. You know, like a charity badge, okay, yeah, you was in, you was in seventh place and we just gonna give it to you just because. Nah, man. Most I ain't dealing with people that's not trying to run and, and fight for the thing. That's right. This this is the end. So each and every brother, like I like I was saying, you just gotta push that energy out. Whether you 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 know what I'm saying, slower brother, yeah. or you're a brother that's on a fast pace, push that energy out. Right. This truth this truth really has to give you an adrenaline rush, man. Right. Like you gotta you, you know you have to feel it, man. You gotta you have to really feel this truth, man. It can't just be something that sounds good. Yeah, that's right. Right. Right, the scripture, the scripture tell you, uh, you know, this truth is like a a, a song piped piped unto them. So a lot of people they they look at this truth as entertaining, and this this go for brothers, uh, certain certain cats in GMS, whether they still in GMS or, or got kicked out, they they didn't look at this, they didn't feel it, they they just heard it and it sounded good to them. It was like it was like a, it was like a, a, a damn a rap album. To them. Yeah, yeah. And then after a while, after you listen to the same music over and over again, what happened? Get, they get born. You you know you feel like you know the, all the lyrics and you know all the skits and uh, things like that. So what happens? You stop. You lose focus. I, I got you a, stop uh, playing. I got a, a definition um, on the word endurance uh, because it's a word you know, that's constantly used in this thing. Uh, it's uh, the ability or strength to continue or last. Um, in an unpleasant, in an unpleasant or difficult process or situation. Hey, and, and what the scriptures say? The scriptures say what? Enter ye in yeah, at the straight gate. Yeah. Right. So what? Right. This is this is a, a a course of difficulty. Right. And you have to endure this course of difficulty, man. That word straight means course of difficulty. And then and then uh, when you go into an, the definition of endure, all right, it says to suffer patiently, to remain in existence. Last. Right, see, to suffer, to suffer patiently or remain in existence, because when you when you leave this truth, you you no longer exist. All right, you the scriptures say, uh, he that wandered out the way of the congregation shall remain. The remain the congregation, congregation is dead. Roughly paraphrase. That, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Okay, and that, and that's that. When once you leave this truth, you no longer exist. You you are basically a a missile food, man. So you, you must you must try your best, man. And, and, and we in the flesh, man. You gotta understand, um, we in the flesh. So of course you gonna have those moments where you get low in the spirit and you start thinking, man, I don't think I'm a man of the Lord. Or you know you may have a a a, a, a tired demon on you on camp day, or you may have a doubt demon. Or you are gonna have those. That that's that's normal. That's natural. Like the brother said, lazy demon. Okay, where you know, or, or a demon where you just just low in the spirit and you know it's like I don't, you know I don't want to go to camp today 
you got you got you, you got to get yourself pumped up, man. Like like when Jake, man, when they you know they feel like they fucking up, they slap themselves in the face. Come on, shake it off. Let's go, let's go, loosen you up. Try to revitalize. Yeah, you like you got to revitalize yourself. You gotta you gotta observe your your problem areas, man. Well, you gotta observe when when you, when you know you're not operating in that same spirit. Another thing too, man, is brothers gotta pray, man. That's right. You know. That's right. You gotta use, the we gotta use the accent of that name. Uh, it ain't just a saluting thing. Of course, we salute in the name of Yah, about you know, shot. But in your daily lives, pray to Yah about you know, shot. Yah about you know, shot. Give me strength. Give me endurance. Thank you. Yeah. Give me fire. That's a power. Up. You know. Yeah. Yah about you know, shot. Uh, Nathaliah, uh, Ash, Ash, the Hebrew word for fire. Give it to me, fire. Meaning, give it to give to me more energy. Give because fire is energy. Give to me a more passion. Time. Your spirit get low. We all get low spirits at times. Yeah, if you if you're not praying, you're not gonna last. Right. You're not gonna last if you're not going to your by Shemal Shah. But that's why he said, uh, every every man that, that says, uh, Lord, Lord, uh, shall not enter into the kingdom. And he also said, pray without ceasing. Right. Right. Yep. So you know, if you pray without ceasing, you know, you always, you know, like 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 that before, we always connected to you know the Wi-Fi. That's why the scriptures also say on the praying aspect, men ought to pray and not to faint. Come, yeah. Yeah, come, so I got, yeah. I got this one scripture, uh, Sirach 11, 11. I'll start at verse 10. My son, meddle not with many matters, for if thou meddle much, thou shalt not be innocent. And if thou follow after, thou shalt not attain, neither shalt thou escape my fleet. There is one that laboreth and taketh pain and maketh haste. And it's much the more behind. Again, there is another that's slow and have need of help, wanting ability and full of poverty. Yet the eye of the Lord looketh upon him for good, and set him up from his low estate, and lifted up his head from misery, so that many that saw him is peace over all the all the prosperity and adversity. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches, come for the Lord. But uh, the point is, you know, just like brothers are saying in this race, man, you may have certain guys that try to run and say, I see that uh, the apostles post 10 videos. Let me post 10. So let me post 20 so I can outdo the apostles. The truth don't work like that, man. Okay, if, if I post more videos than apostles, that means I'm, I'm the elect. That means I could be an apostle. None of that stuff work, yeah. don't work like that, man. This right. truth is your fault. It's your fault. You fight. You do it like it's an old saying. Uh, do the best that you can. You see what I'm saying? So you have to do the best that you can so that you can uh, give diligence so that you can uh, be approved. Of you, have, you have previous Israelites uh, in the past that was so called on fire. They did the classes at the World West School went out to the streets five, six, sometimes seven days a week, multiple days a week, multiple hours, longer hours, and they, they, they did a lot in this truth, but they they the elect because they fell out. They was overrunning, man. They was doing they was overdoing themselves and they really didn't have a sincere love for Yah by Shemel Shah. They did to be seen in men. So you gotta look at the examples that we have and take that energy. Thank you, how about Shema, thank, thank you, how about Shema was shot. Uh, as of now, that we're not getting caught up in that goddamn spirit, man. Uh, all right? You know, because that, you know, it, it, it could be anybody, man. If everybody is open game. Right. Okay, you, you ask me? Yes, yeah, Philippians 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's right. And you can't look at this truth like you're going to get a, a, a dual crime. Like, you, you know, uh, uh, what, 
whatever, or you're going to take credit for another brother's work. But, you, you know, no, you got to work out your own salvation, man. This is not a joint. It's, it, it, we, you know, we operate in a body, but, you know, this is a, it, it, you get an individual reward for this. Right. Okay? Me and this brother not going to get one crown, man. And, and, this, uh, and this is not something you can fake either, man. God. Because the Spirit is going to reveal it, man. That, uh, you know, because the Lord tried the spirits, man. So, so you know, it, it, you can't, you really can't, you can't hide this thing, man. If you're really not sincere, it's going to be revealed through the Spirit um, some kind of way, man. That's right. It's going it's to come out, man. Okay, so, uh, you know, like, like, like brothers been, been saying, uh, you know, it's a, it's a lot of house cleaning going on. Man. It, it, you look at all these other camps in these cities, and it's starting uh, for, with the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Rashad, and it's, it's trickling on down through the apostles and the elders and the camp head and other brothers in the camp that's in the spirit that's catching this bullshit that's going on in these camps and getting and, cut, and cutting that shit out. Okay, so this this is the time now that 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 the uh, admonishment, okay, the warnings and and, and and the reproof is going out, and if you don't if you don't listen to it, you out the door. That, that's pretty much it. So you know, you want to keep you want to keep this you want to keep your train rolling, okay? If you hit the brakes for no for no goddamn reason, hey, that's on you, man. Okay? Right. So you know that we running out of memory. Uh, uh, I, I got one more precept. All right, come. We gonna bring out we gonna bring out uh, okay. a couple more precepts and we gonna close okay. it out. Matthew twenty four and thirteen. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So you only gonna obtain savior through endurance. Not swiftness. You're not going to get. Uh, uh, you're not going to get savior by uh, doing a year in this truth and saying I did a lot in a year. I did a whole lot in a year. You know, I went to the highways and byways four times a week, and, and I did videos every day, and I read the. I ate the whole roll. Nah, man, you got. You got to keep. You got to keep going, man. You got to go to the end. Okay, it didn't say to he that that endure for a while. It said, him that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You got to, yeah, you got to, you got to be uh, really tried. We got to be, we have to be really tested. We got to be put to the test. That's right. And this, this, this time now is the time that we should be using to really uh, 